I have with me Benjamin Hairsprish, who's the voting officer here in New Delhi. Benjamin, we have been reading about uh, ballots. What is it? What is it exactly? How is it done? How is voting overseas done? Well, great question. Uh, so, voting overseas um, is any American citizen who is eligible to vote uh, but is not in the United States can do so by voting overseas. Uh, so, we have a great website actually that has all the information and all of the forms needed to do that to register and to vote. It's www.fvap.gov and that's the Federal Voting Assistance Program. But the uh, embassy also provides services, uh, so me and my colleagues around the U.S. missions here in India are happy to help any American citizen who would like to know how to register and vote in the election. It, it, it looks like it's a cumbersome process and it's, it's a time-consuming process, so uh, is it too late for the voters to come up and uh, vote? Well, um, every state has a different registration deadline and a, and a different voting uh, deadline, so it really depends on which state you're from. Many of the registration deadlines have passed. They were mostly in October of this year. But some states still allow uh, registration to come in. And certainly, um, if American citizens still have their absentee ballots, they should, they should send them in to, uh, as soon as possible to ensure that they get counted in this election. So the idea is to basically encourage uh, people, uh, Americans who are not in America to come and vote. So what are the areas? I mean, how is, uh, how is the government trying to make it easier for them to vote? Well, actually, they've, been ta they've taken some really great steps in recent years to, to make it easier. Um, obviously, with so many Americans traveling these days, uh, especially the interactions between the U.S. and India, a lot of Americans are out of the country for this time of year. So the website, fbvap.gov, was developed to facilitate that. Uh, that puts all the information in one place online so anyone can access it. U.S. embassies across the world in every single country and in all of our consulates uh, within each country, all have voting officers designated to help American citizens. We have copies of registration materials here, uh, absentee ballots. So it's really all about trying to make it as easy as possible for Americans overseas to cast their vote and make their voice heard. As uh, we can see, the action is not just in the U.S., it's all over the world. In New Delhi, this is Altamash Hashmi.